Folks, welcome to The Contrarian Trader. This is Robert Desmond. The topic of today's video is going to be U.S. Steel, letter X. And we recently traded U.S. Steel, and I wish I could say it was a winner. It wasn't. We took a loss on the trade, but that's okay as long as you keep your losses small. It's a part of our business. As being traders, losses are a part of our business. If you're not willing to take a loss, it's going to be very, very difficult to become a successful trader. So I urge you, please, watch the rest of this video and we'll discuss how our, we plan an exit strategy for U.S. Steel. Let's get to the chart. All right, what you're looking at here is a daily chart of U.S. Steel. Overlaid in green is the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar and U.S. Steel trade inversely. Why? U.S. Steel is a commodity. It gets exported out of the United States. As the U.S. dollar declines, the price of steel, U.S. Steel's product overseas, goes down, making their sales go up. So a declining U.S. dollar is good for U.S. Steel. We had that in our corner. What else do we have in our corner? Why did we enter this trade? Well, back in June, after a huge sell-off, a multi-year sell-off, U.S. Steel bottomed out at $17.59. It rallied in early July up to a peak of 2202 pulled back in July, made a higher low from June. The fact that U.S. Steel made a higher low was critical because it marked the end of the sell-off in U.S. Steel. And it was a good entry point to open up a trade in U.S. Steel as long as you kept the stop loss order just below the 17.59. Because a break below that level would have meant a continuation breakdown, and you didn't want to be a part of that. So, as you can see, the stock rallied several times up through resistance and had four breakout point failures. What's that? It broke out above this upper band, rolled over, broke down, same here, same here, same here. It was unable to hold on to a, a rally, and it was, it was making lower highs, which is not good. So I drew a trend line down because what this trend line represented was finally a true breakout in U.S. Steel, and we got that in December. So we kept an eye on U.S. Steel. We watched it rally. And I said, wow, you know what? It's beginning to make higher highs. We need to be a part of this. So we put it on our watch list, and we watched it go into a flag formation. We drew our trend line, identified a good entry point, and we got in very close to the lower band of the rising uptrend line. It put us in a good spot because we knew we could give ourselves a little bit of room with our stop loss order because we got in at a good risk to reward level. So before you enter your stop losses on any trade, what you want to do is find out what the beta of the stock is. For new members or new visitors, beta is the measure of volatility. A measure of one or higher, that's, that's a stock that's got some volatility to it. So where can you find that? It's free. Just go to Yahoo Finance, great website, I use it all the time. Key statistics, right here, beta, beta of 1.96. That's huge, huge, huge volatility. So when you're setting your stop losses, how many times do you set a stop loss only to get taken out the stock recovers and makes new highs? That ha that's happened to me, but you need to learn from those lessons. And the lesson to learn is watch the volatility and give yourself a little bit of room. And you can afford to do that assuming that you buy it with a good risk to reward entry point. And we did so right here. And as you can see, if you kept your stop losses just below, which many traders do, they keep it, they're gonna play it real safe. They're gonna keep their stop loss just below this lower band and they wanna get out. But if you did that, you could have been taken out on one, two separate occasions and the, and if it would have broken out, your confidence would have been shot. And the probability of you using the stop loss in the future would have been reduced, and that's never good. So back to our trade. So we watched the stock begin to rally. We wanted to see this breakout. We would have bought more on a breakout above this breakout point, the upper band of the flag formation. But we didn't get that. On the 24th, it closed below the lower band of the rising uptrend channel. And I emphasize the word close because what I teach my members is it doesn't matter where stock trades intra intraday, especially with a high beta stock. What matters is where the stock closes. And when, when U.S. Steel closed below this 
lower band here. That was a big concern. That warning flag was on the track that we had to tighten up our stops. The following day, we saw a reversal off the lows, and I, I put out a note, put a stop loss in, one tick below, the lows of the day on the 25th, and we would be out. That was our exit strategy. As it turned out that day, the stock flashed a key reversal, which is very bullish, and there was a possibility of a continuation rally. However, the stock proceeded to break down. We were stopped out with about 2 2.5% loss on it, which is no big deal. So, as long as you keep your losses small and let your winners run, you can take 2% losses on 50% of your trades and still do quite well in this business. And if I didn't keep that stop loss order in, and I, I urge people, don't sit in front of your computer as a swing trader. You don't need to do it. Just enter your stop loss order into whatever program you use, uh, TD Ameritrade, whatever you use, Short Trade, whatever you use. They, they all have good to cancel stop loss orders. You can always adjust it. I, I, I strongly urge that because if you don't do that, if you sit there and you hope that your stock is going to reverse and you don't stand by your stop loss order, you could act impulsively, pull your stop loss if you entered one. So am I sad that I used the stop loss order here? No, because I got out with a small loss and the stock proceeded down to correct over 8%. So by taking this two, two and a half percent loss, I prevented a further 6% decline in the value of, of my money. Preservation of capital is king. And as we're looking at this chart right now, you can see how prior resistance is now support. We closed above it this past Friday, which is good. U.S. Steel is now back on our watch list. I'll be going into this potential trade with members on the week ahead commentary which I'll be distributing on Sunday, which is tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday. So if you want to see that video, I'll be going into weekly charts, intraday charts of U.S. Steel, and a number of other stocks, plus commentary on the overall market. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Just click that subscribe button below the video. And visit my website, thecontrariantrader.com. Sign up for your free trial offer right over here. Click the Try Now button, no credit card required. I have this new live chat box. Uh, if you see me online here, please drop me a note to say hello. Uh, if you have any questions about this service, just, just ask. I'll, I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer for you. And that's it, folks. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email, robertthecontrariantrader.com. Keep those losses small. Use your stop loss orders. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.